it's gotten pretty cold pretty fast but you guys have a solution we do yes because we've all got this this lovely sort of outdoor lifestyle that we like to live here you know using your deck outside using your garden but as soon as it gets cold it's kind of suddenly not used so the answer to this is building yourself a nice outdoor fire Oh, okay. Nice. This seems pretty easy. Yep, yeah, it, it, it is actually fairly easy, it is. and you, there's plenty of DIY products out there that you can build if you're not um, the type to design your own up and get the bricks off trade me, get the cement from you know Bunnings, go here, there, and everywhere. This sounds far too hard. Yeah, which is quite hard work. But you, the, the kit set ones that are available, Hamish has built one. You have. Not, you'll see some pictures now of my yeah. sweet kit set. Not not himself, <laughs> to be fair. He didn't build them. I was there helping, um, but I um, watching. I, I may have been watching. Watching. Yeah, but I, I was there nonetheless. It was raining and miserable, so I needed some help. And uh, the builders chipped in, so we had a quality product at the end. <laughs> the um, builders right. chipped yeah. in. Yeah, okay. yeah there, was, there were cries of "Don't let Hamish anywhere near oh, it." There it is. As you can that. see, it's very smart. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. And it's um, it's it's a quite simple concrete construction. You kind of stack it together and cement it to build it and there you go job done and Hamish didn't plaster it because he wanted that industrial look yeah oh, and beautiful. you can plaster it if you want or you could clad it in bricks or tiles or you know however you want it to look but with what Hamish was building it needed it worked. Look yeah. to go with a quite contemporary There's different house. stages is it a particularly yeah. hard thing to build it's heavy. And, th and that's oh, yeah. it. It took two builders to lift the parts up. Right. And, and one yeah. man to take the and photos. Take yeah. the photos. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. From the warmth of a car. <laughs> right. oh, I was in the car. <laughs> I was in the truck. Yeah. Okay. In the lounge. So that's one option. What is, are there any other options for outdoor mm. fires? There are. Um, uh, for a client of mine once, had to find an outdoor fireplace alternative. Uh, client wanted a wood burner. It was a little bit tricky to, to build one in his situation. Looked around and found one, and Auckland Company makes them stainless steel fire blocks on wheels. Okay, so oh. effectively you can position it where you desire to have it. I think we've got some sweet pictures for you, so you can see mm -hmm. how lovely they are. Um, well, they're a little bit dearer, you know, than than like the concrete form sort of style one, uh, but durable. You can take it with you, which is always right, when nice. You move. Yeah, yeah, so if you yeah. move, so for a slightly bigger investment, you get to keep it, of course, for. Forever. And you can actually just wheel it around. You can wheel it around. It's, it's almost like wheeling a barbecue around, that yeah. sort of principle. It's what? quite a nice idea because, you know, wherever the wind is at, the, at that yeah. point in your garden, you can move away from it. And, and you can push it away and use it as a focal point. So in winter, you could be inside still with your fire perhaps perched up, looking, at, looking it. at it. What about permits and things yeah, like that? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Do you need a permit? It's a delightful way not mm -hmm. to need a permit. Yep. Because oh, it's right. effectively like a barbecue. Okay, mm -hmm. sweet. So you get away with it, really. Yeah, you can. Yep. I mean, you can't go and push it up next to your neighbour's fence and, you know, blow smoke. No. Uh, yeah, but the answer is yes, you can bring it in. It's more classified as a barbecue. You yeah, can actually get hot plates for it. And that's the thing to consider because different councils have different building regulations around permits and things like that. So if you are going to build one, make sure you check with your council first on what yeah. you are actually allowed to do before you build it. Someone up the road doesn't like it because there's suddenly smoke everywhere yeah. and somebody's then telling you to tear it down. Right, yeah. make your, just do your checks and you can roast your marshmallows on it later. That sounds you like can. a great thing to do in winter. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, well, Hamish and Alex, thank you so much. You're welcome. Enlightening. I really want a fire now. I know, mm. and they were very well behaved. We were. I, we always sound yeah. surprised. They've yeah. done a couple in a row where they've been not too badly behaved, no. so nice work, guys. <laughs> Have a great weekend, by the way. Enjoy you your too. long weekend.